You can be the rah-rah, happy, fun-loving family guy when you win. What do you like when you're 0-6? That's who the hell you are. You come back to your campus and they're yelling, you stink. And like, well, you lose 76 to 5. What are they supposed to say? You're great? One of college football's most entertaining personalities is stashed in Oxford, Ohio. For a decade, Chuck Martin's taken Miami University football from the depths of Division I to this. Turning in just the Red Hawks' third 10-win regular season since 1977. Beat Cincinnati OU in the same year. Um, that's pretty important at Miami, you know, to do, to do one or both of those and then have a chance to hopefully fight for a MAC championship. Those are all, like, just pretty amazing what the kids have accomplished. Saturday, Miami plays for the MAC championship in Detroit against 23rd-ranked Toledo. The once dormant program now bowl eligible for a fifth time in six seasons. You win to this level, folks on the outside are going to assume that phone's ringing off the hook, curious what your long-term plans are. How do you handle those questions? There's a job we'd all leave for. If the Bears want me to be their head coach, I'm there tomorrow. You know, Bears get rid of head coaches every couple of years. They never call me, so apparently they don't want me to be their head coach. Like, but like I was saying, we'd leave the interview right now if they call and say, see you later. And, Finish it on your own. Like, so we all have that job, but my track record is that I've moved twice in the last 24 years. Right. Behind the scenes, Martin's mission at Miami, impossible without one person. His explanation of the glue to this story, as you may expect, pure gold. I've been so fortunate that for whatever dumb reason, my wife's believed in me from day one. She's allowed me to have the success and allowed me to pour my heart and soul in the coaches, the players, the school. She's my only friend. Like she, I always say, like, she tells me, you got no friends. I'm like, she's like, and the sad part is not that you don't have friends is that you're okay with it. And I'm like, you're my friend. She's like, yeah, I have to be. I'm your wife, you know? <laughs>